Welcome to Landrianka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. Do you ever like say your name and you're like, that's so weird. This personality that I have and everything, it's really weird. It's like, sometimes I'm speaking and it's, it just feels weird. It's like, I don't know, I'm playing this role. And it's almost like this energy coming through this body. It's all right. Maybe, maybe you know what I'm talking about. All right. I was just getting off a little weird there for, on you for a minute. Oh, I was getting a little weird, right? The whole channel's about that. Hold on. I have to have my coffee. I told you in 2018 I was going to really start going out there, and I'm doing it. I'm going to start talking about stuff that's just so out there, it's going to really push you. Why? You're ready for it. Why? Because there are no limits. Why? Because it's time for us to get out of this crazy planetary confines and start being what we truly are, and that's unlimited incredible beings. Now you can say, oh, how can I be unlimited? Well, you are, but we're not resonating on that frequency. That's your choice. You get to resonate. You can resonate in a frequency where you eventually just don't even need a body anymore. That's why people are experiencing symptoms in their physical body because we are going to the fourth already in the fourth and fifth dimension. So what's happening is your body's having to make adjustments. A lot of people have dietary changes, you know, the heart palpitations and stuff that are not, relate, not related to stress. I, by the way, I never want anybody to think that they can just handle this stuff. When I tell you to get off meds and bad stuff, I'm talking about, you know, the things that are bad for you versus like a doctor prescribed medication. Always talk to a doctor. Always do what you feel is best, right? You have to make those decisions. I'm not here to dictate your health uh, practices. So I'm pushing you because um, I'm becoming less, let's say, reserved. I'm not afraid, but less reserved about what I speak about because I don't want to speak about things that you're not going to benefit from or push you so far outside your comfort zone that you just shut down because not all of you are ready for some of the things I say. But I hope you'll just keep an open mind, and if you really want your mind twisted, listen to Dolores Cannon. Uh, she's one of the few people I actually do listen to. Um, and I am a quantum healing hypnosis technique uh, hypnotist. I got trained with the Dolores Cannon um, uh, training uh, on that and that is she was taking people back into past lives and then they started to speak to their higher selves and other realms were coming through and she's not a channel but this is like 40 some years and thousands of people that she did this to that had, didn't know each other are giving messages from the other side not from dead people but from the higher powers sharing information about how this universe works, and it's just amazing. So uh, the convoluted universe, uh, I highly recommend it. Um, I am doing sessions with people. I actually will take them back. It takes about three hours. We, we take them back into you know, a hypnotic state, which they're mostly fully aware of. It's not into this deep trance where you don't know, you know, squawk like a chicken and you don't even know you did that, right? It's not that kind of thing. But it's pretty powerful and it can heal a lot of people. Dolores has healed many people spontaneously. Um, so you might want to read some of that stuff. If you want your mind twisted, go into that because then she, she starts talking about stuff like you're like, okay, I just got my limits pushed. I even get my limits pushed, if you can believe that. Now, I want to talk about that realm, going into that realm, that really unknown space that is scary for us. Why? Because we don't like things that we can't see or have control over. And we think when we go into the unknown, that, that unseen world, that we don't have control over it. We don't know what's over there because, you know, it's walking around and it can see us, but we can't see it. Why? Because they're on higher frequencies. And when you're a lower frequency, you can't see the un unseen. Uh, although, obviously, some people do have that natural ability. Um, I have seen shadows, I've seen things, and uh, actually the last couple of weeks a lot of stuff has been 
moving around let's just put it that way and I'm like okay what is in the room with me so there could be a fear factor there it's like the fear should only be um, prevalent for you if you are uh, on a lower frequency and you're like thinking negative thoughts uh, maybe your fear should kick in because you're going to be like going into uh, lower dimensions and those people are going to and things will be attracted to you that would be the only fear but if you're not fearing then you're not in that dimension and you're up here and no matter what shows up that's why sometimes people like they're afraid like they're on a higher frequency and then some thing shows up and goes ah, and it's scary you know it's it's just it's just another entity reaching out and if it's on a lower frequency it can be angry or whatever but and nothing can ever harm you so I want to just clarify that now that um, I sage my house once in a while especially if somebody comes in I don't like their energy um, and then uh, you know if an entity does show up I have had them show up before but um, I don't let them have any say over me and they leave because I am an open channel very often and so when you open yourself up there are things everything's over there but the funny thing is is you're in a world where people like we have to lock our our cars and our homes people have to worry about their safety people can't go to a concert without getting shot or a disco excuse me I'm fasting for four days and going through some changes um, so here we're in this world because we know what that is we know how to guard ourselves we can see it or sometimes not and so but when we go to the realm we're like oh my god you know what is this uh, these things are gonna show up but you're always in control nothing can ever harm you the beauty of the other world the unseen world is you tell it to leave it has to leave it has to leave and if it's not leaving it's because you're going into that space where you don't believe you have that power or you're in a more negative frequency and it's going to keep bugging you but um, so right now I just want to tell you never be afraid of meditation and if you have any questions or any fears about going into that space make sure your light is on nothing's going to come and visit you and sit up and sit in your bed and then we're going to talk about theta state because this is where you start to go into those realms theta state is a safer state for you to go in because you are still half awake so you're going to feel much more safe that you can pull out of anything you don't want I never go into anything negative there the only thing I've ever had happen is I have had the you know the guys the dark entities show up uh, recently a few of them at least three and um, I just I broke loose and they said wow she's really powerful and they left I was like this isn't fun <laughs> and then another uh, recently my parents showed up when I was having some issues and uh, so they came in the room and that was really cool um, and then I was fine so I just want you to know you always have guardians um, and I, I hope I'm not scaring anybody right now because the, the thing is is that people are so afraid anyways of the other realm it is the most beautiful safest uh, that's where power lies true power lies because it is not attached to the real world it's where things manifest instantaneously it's where you can connect to your higher higher self and power it's where you can get real protection um, and you know just really control what's going on and really explore it so theta state is when you sit up and you find yourself falling asleep just a little bit now Einstein used to put like two silver balls metal metal balls in his hand and he would sit in a chair and he would turn the balls and turn the balls and then he'd think and then he would hold them and he'd start to doze off a little bit and he'd go into theta because he's getting a ton of information I don't know if you know that he meditated he would get a ton of answers and and things and he would ask for it too and he would have the metal ball so that if he actually fell asleep he would drop them and wake up because he didn't want to fall asleep he wanted to 
just go in that twilight stage and that's theta. Theta is like you're sort of in a dream state, but you're aware of it, you know, and you come out, you keep coming out of it. So I go into that a lot, a lot, a lot. And theta state is also, you can actually be dreaming, but you're very, like I said, you're, you're not in that deep sleep where you're not going to remember. That is where a lot of your activity happens. That's when you are actually coming, you know, when I say out of your body, you never really come out of your body. You're just really, you're already out of your body anyways all the time. It's just when you're connecting more to that realm of all po possibilities and probabilities in a much cleaner, pure way. So don't be afraid to go there because magical things happen there. Ask your guides to answer questions for you. Call in angels, whatever you want to call them. You know, your higher self, whatever you want to call it. The one, Christ. Ask for any, anybody to help you and guide and, and lead you. And then you will start to get answers. And stop some of the stuff that I remember, I get business ideas like you wouldn't believe. Like the other day I was like, oh my God, this is such a great idea. And I just went and installed it. Uh, I, it told me that I need to charge more for my books and give a autograph for them, sign them for that extra money, and then use the money for my charity. Because I'm like, how can I make money off a book sign without taking a big loss and still being able to you know, do donate to the charity? So I don't have to. I only have to charge a little bit more for the book, give somebody a nice signed copy, and then I have the extra money to donate. So I was like, that was so easy and simple, but I got that in a theta state. That's the kind of stuff I get all the time. It's like, and then other things are like, I just need to know I need, I have to do certain things. Because you're getting direct messages and help there. When you go into that state, it's like, everything's like, phew, thank God the thinking is out of, out of the way. Now we can communicate directly with him or her. So, you know, and then you're gonna experience things. So it's like, well, I only have weird dreams in there. Don't discount those, those are all messages. Like, what are those dreams? Uh, I think I shared with you, I got on a, a fast speed train and the doors open. My grandma was sitting on it. She hasn't visited me in a really long time. She, I, you know, she, she sends me messages and signs, but I haven't really seen her in her dreams. Wow, since ever, it's been a really long time. She had like a little Bodhi tree, you know, a beautiful little tree. And then she had a, like a chalice. And I was like, and I got on this train, it was moving fast. I was like, what is that? Oh no, it's just a weird dream. No, it's not. It is, a, especially since it was my grandma. That was my sign I have to pay attention because grandma's like going, here you go. So I was thinking, I'm still not clear on that one. Sometimes things become clear later on. A lot of people give me interpretations, which is great, but only you will really know what those dreams mean. So that was a theta state dream, obviously, because I remember it. Um, and then theta is when, like, when you're asleep and you're coming out in the morning, you will be like very aware of what you were dreaming about. Be careful about coming out too quick. Like, really pay attention. Like. Okay, what was I dreaming about? What was I dreaming about? And then you can like write this stuff down. I get a lot of predictions. Here, I gave some good news for you. Uh, no more dreams. I was getting tons of dreams of floods and of course we've, ha we've had a lot. I have not had a flood dream in quite some time now. I used to get earthquake dreams. I have not had an earthquake dream in a while. Very good, because I was getting tons of flood dreams. And sure enough, we had a boatload of hurricanes, one right after the other, and all kinds of stuff, flooding going on and different things. Um, I haven't had that. But unfortunately, sometimes you get to see things that are lined up for the future now that still can change. So if it doesn't come true, if we're raising our frequency, we can avert those catastrophes because we are in control of what goes on this planet. You know what, if we treat her well, she's gonna treat us well, so send your light and your love and your healing out to the planet. Do good things. Please keep your thoughts on a positive note. Say good things. Only listen to positive things. Don't look at the ugly stuff, just create the good stuff. That's not ignoring the ugly stuff. Help people those that come to you that want help. Don't impose your stuff on them. Allow people to have their own journey when they want you absolutely step up to the plate. 
Allow people to go through suffering. Sometimes, have you ever tried to fix somebody and then they go back to whatever the nasty thing they were doing anyways? Sometimes the best thing you could do is just stand back and let them hit rock bottom till, you know, they come back. So, so I got off a little bit, but my point being is you're constantly getting messages. You constantly sense things. You know, theta state is just you getting out of the way of things that you experience here and all the time anyways. You're always in control. You're always picking up on stuff. You might have a thought or some something gets in that's third, really out there, almost like a dreamlike kind of weird stuff. Pay attention to all of it. So um, theta state, practice going into it, sit up. Don't You don't want to purposely go into that when you're meditating because meditation, most of all, is very effective when you're just training yourself to not think at all. That's when you're clearing it out. So you're actually learning how to walk around with no thinking. So you're always an open channel to positive things. All right, I hope this helps. I hope you understand what theta state is and why it's so effective because it is you getting out of the way. And that's why meditation is so important. You're getting out of the way. When you go into theta, uh, you get messages and all kinds of good stuff. You can do that in meditation anyways. Continue to meditate, my friends. It is very effective. It can change this planet. It will change your world. It will open and connect you to beautiful abundance love, light, joy, and then you can be really most effective to others because you're in that state. You can share that and it affects me when you're happy. I pick up on all of that just like you do. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. That is from the Master Key System. If you haven't read it, it's a beautiful, awesome book by uh, Charles F. Hanel. Namaste.